campaigning for a second term, Donald Trump asked America's largest gun lobby last month about whether he might get a third term, referencing the four terms of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who died in office in 1945. FDR, 16 years, almost 16 years, he was four term. I don't know, are we going to be considered three term or two term? You tell me, Ronnie, what do you think? Congress in 1947 approved the 22nd Amendment to the Constitution, limiting presidents to just a pair of four-year terms. That became law in 1951, after the amendment was ratified by the necessary 36 of the then 48 states. The amendment really uh, codifies what had been for a long time a political norm of not running uh, for, for more than two terms. That's Praveen Fernandez, vice president of the Constitutional Accountability Center. He explains the two-term tradition goes back to America's first president, George Washington, who ignored repeated pleas to run for a third term. With the start of the Second World War, Franklin Roosevelt broke with that tradition in 1940 and won a fourth term in 1944 as well. I, Barack Hussein Obama. Since the 22nd Amendment, six presidents have served two full terms, the most recent being Barack Obama. A prominent supporter for President Joe Biden, actor Robert De Niro labels Trump a tyrant who wants to be president for life. If he gets in, I can tell you right now, he will never leave. He will never leave. You know that. He will never leave. I only want to be a dictator for one day. Such declarations by Trump in this election cycle come as he faces criminal charges for attempting to overturn the 2020 election results. And that may presage future intent, according to constitutional attorney Fernandez. The comments that Donald Trump recently made about a third term, which of course flies right in the face of clear constitutional text, are another reason to have concerns about someone who doesn't feel constrained by the clear text of our laws. The President of the United States. For Trump to legally pursue a third term, the 22nd Amendment would have to be repealed, and that would require a two-thirds vote in both chambers of Congress, and then ratification by at least 38 of the 50 states, or 34 states could call a constitutional convention, and any action they approve would have to be ratified by 38 states. Only once in American history has a constitutional amendment been repealed. Acting Secretary of State William Phillips is signing the 21st Amendment, and prohibition is repealed. The 21st Amendment, ratified in 1933, annulled the unpopular and frequently violated 18th Amendment which, in 1919, banned alcoholic beverages. Steve Herman, VOA News, Washington.